Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video we're going to talk about list separator in conditional formatting. Okay, let's start with the what is the list separator. List separator it's a sign uh, splitting the values in the Excel uh, functions. Where you can find it, where you can set it. Uh, let's uh, let's go to the regional settings. So click Windows icon, type regional, set regional format, click it. Let's go to the settings, region settings. Uh, click additional date, time, and regional settings. Click uh, here, change uh, date, time, or number formats. And here the last thing, additional settings. Here we go, our list separator. Uh, as you can see, I got a semicolon set. Uh, you can change it to the point, but uh, let's stay with the semicolon. It's okay for now. Let's go to the Excel. And let me show you uh, where it is exactly. Let's type simple if function and as you can see there is a semicolon between the values of this function. Um, okay, how it works in VBA. In VBA, let's create a, a sub and let's try to um, put in the first uh, sh the first cell of our sheet uh, the simple formula so if 1 is bigger than 0 then 1 or if false 0 okay let's click play or F5 and as you can see here we got a formula in the first cell uh, and the first cell uh, split it with the semicolons so it's consistent with the settings let's change to the point apply and you can see that Excel is automatically changing the list separator to the uh, to the value which uh, which you set uh, here okay so a uh, point now let's back to the semicolon Remember that. Uh, remember that always when you're mm, typing here in the Visual Basic, the formula always you need to always stick to the points. In other case, when you're trying to write semicolons, so uh, as uh, in our case it is consistent with the list separator, and you'll try to pl press play, you'll get you'll receive an error. So you need to change to the points, even uh, even if the list separator is a semicolon, always type points and everything is fine, no errors. So, what is the deal? What's the deal with that? Uh, the deal with that is that there is some inconsistency and in conditional formatting with this what I said. Let me show you. Here here I prepared in my article, in my post, um, example of conditional format uh, code where we can, uh, where we have uh, some, some code lines and a formula uh, which is separated with points. Now we got semicolons uh, and as I said, always we need to always use points. But in case of conditional formatting, um, there is some other case. Let me show you. I'm pressing play, and we're receiving an error. But I found out if you change that to the list separator, so you'll be consist consistent with the uh, list separator here in the formula and conditional formatting 
what what's gonna happen it works so everything what I said in the beginning of this it's not true in the case of conditional format uh, conditional formatting so um, what to do in this case because mm, you you maybe uh, have uh, some tools uh, macros which uh, you're not you, you'll, you won't be the only user of this so you you need to know uh, or you need to be sure that every user have the same um, a list separator on this computer it's it's impossible of course so what to do in this case um, I search uh, a little and found out the function which is which is returning to you the list separator set in the system yeah let me let me show you if it work if it works so uh, in the immediate window uh, it returns uh, semicolon so to be sure it is consistent with the settings change the point apply it changed once again enter it returns point so we got the formula which can which can return, which can give us this list separator which is set in the user's computer. So uh, to to make this code universal for, for every user, uh, to make this code uh, with no errors for every user, we got two options. We can replace every list separator in our formula with the variable uh, or variable which will be um, which will be including this uh, formula which is returning and a list separator or we can prepare two variants of formula one with the semicolon and the other one with the point uh, let me show you because I also uh, have this prepared okay let's paste it here so first variant um, replace every list separator with the variable and here here is our variable with the list separator or a second option uh, be be prepared with the two variants of this formula and copy that of a variant name and paste it here and now let's try it or maybe let's make the here breakpoint to check if it works press play and the uni formula looks like this with the points so where it is consistent with our settings and pressing play no error let's change to the semicolon to be 200% sure of course it's not impossible um, press play once again with the semicolons F5 no errors so thanks to that international list separator we can make our code um, let's call it universal and we're receiving no errors um, if it's semicolon or if it's a point set in as a list separator so um, that's all for you guys uh, thanks for watching first thanks for listening I hope you enjoyed it I hope it will help uh, someone if it yeah um, please give a like if you liked it please use comment section to leave the comments um, that's all for now thank you bye bye